Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if the Ryzen Master software is unable to initialize. Kindly reinstall the program. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to heed the advice, cancel the installation, restart your computer, and then attempt to download a fresh copy from AMD and see if that issue reappears. And also make sure you're using an administrative account as well in order to download and install it properly. Something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you'll come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So double click on that. Should be a current control set folder in here. Double click on it. Locate the control folder. Double click on that one as well. Should be a CI folder. Double click on it. And then there should be a config folder in here. Just left click on that one time. Take note of our file path. You can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've went under to get to this point. So anyway, there's a dword value over here on the right side. This is vulnerable driver blacklist enable. You want to go ahead and double click on it. And you want to set the value data to the number zero. So delete the one, type the number zero, and then select OK. So just in the event that you do not have this value in here, you will have to right click in a blank area, select new, and then dword 32 bit value. You would name this vulnerable driver blacklist enable case sensitive. So again, the V in vulnerable, D in driver, B in blacklist, and the E in enable should all be capital. Everything else should be lowercase. And then you would set the value data to zero. So it should automatically be zero if you're creating it from scratch. However, I would just play it safe and double click on the value once you've created it and make sure the value is set to zero. And once you have done that, go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And we will proceed at this moment to restart our computer. So just go ahead and restart our device at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process to follow. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.